So this is it. As you can see, we have it available in both US and EU form factors. It's IP controlled, PoE powered. It allows a single cable connection from the uh, XIO Bluetooth to a PoE enabled network switch. All aspects of the XIO Bluetooth can be controlled using symmetric remotes, uh, SimView panels, and third party control systems. Right now, this is my setup. So as you can see, we have the three different areas. So we have the uh, in from the Bluetooth, going to a summer, and then going to our matrix mixer, which I can route it wherever I want. As you can see, I have my studio mic, which I'm speaking to now, routing through the rest of the system. And then I have an analog mic for phone calls. We have the ability to control the XIO Bluetooth via our new intelligent modules. So once you drag in your XIO Bluetooth, once you go into your DSP and go into intelligent module section, it'll create your Dante device module. So you can go ahead and pull that in and yes, and that gives you control of the unit. Now, what can you do with the intelligent module? Well, you can instantly pair and you can also physically disconnect what is already paired. Now, earlier I had mentioned that security pin. So this is the only place you can change the security pin and it is four digits. And with media, uh, we can go ahead and control it if we're paired. So I'm gonna go ahead and repair. Go ahead and hit pair now. So I'm just controlling music with the uh, intelligent module and it works. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the music. So now you'll notice also in the uh, call audio that we have don't have a volume control, but we do have a mute. Now I can't show you that because we're not on a phone call together, but this is where you would mute the output to or what's going to uh, your Bluetooth for the phone calls. And let's export this to a control screen. So you can actually export this to SimView and utilize it on a SimView panel, uh, on a T5 or on the control server, just like any other control screen. And for ArcWeb, it's a parameter that you can affect. Pair now, set up for remote control, drag this over and assign it to an ArcWeb. That's about it. So it's, it's very simple, it's very powerful. It's a great device. And with that, thanks everybody for joining me and take care, have a great day.